Good morning, everybody. This is um, how we are starting our day off today. This is pretty cute and pretty funny. So this morning we went and put the little lambs outside in the play pen area, including this little baby Jackson. And, you know, we had to do our rounds. And, you know, at one point I ran over because little Jackson was crying and Farmer John's like, no, no, they'll be right. Don't worry, he'll stop. Got to get our things done, right? <laughs> Very practical. Very practical response of his. Um, and then, of course, I'm filling up the duck water. I turn around, and there he is holding little Jackson, who apparently he'd been bawling his eyes out. He was hysterical. He mm, was hysterical. He was shaking. Oh, and John just couldn't bear it. He had to go and run to his rescue. And um, yeah, this is the first time little Jackson has accepted true cuddles. So, you know, we've tried picking him up a few times, and he doesn't really get it he's like why am I airborne and you know what is this strange embrace thing that's happening but this is the first time he has truly just gone you know what this cuddle thing is pretty yeah, nice I'll take this. I feel pretty safe and happy and warm and loved and farmer John can't eat his brekkie mm, I'm trying. <laughs> he's trying <clears throat> and you're very sweet don't you mm. he's so sweet he's um he's doing all right he has some issues with his eyes he's got a lot of weeping so he might have entropian eyes and we'll we'll manage that in time um other than that he's a trooper he's drinking his bottles and um yeah he's doing great he's massive he's a big chunky lad yes, <laughs> so <great> chunky <laughs> so funny when i first picked him up i'm going this can't be right <laughs> seven kilos that's a chunky boy so to put that into perspective um Indiana and um, Arthur were both around four kilos and little Bilbo who came, he was our first lamb who, who passed, he was 2.7 kilos. So this boy is seven kilos. <laughs> and over here we're going to say hello to beautiful Simba. Hello Simba. Yes, we've got a chicken in the house. It's not the first time, but she's not feeling very well. We noticed she's got a bit of a runny nose. So she's on antibiotics. Um, when she finishes her round of antibiotics, we'll give her some like electrolyte stuff. Yeah, and we're keeping her in for observation, but she's already picked up a bit and also the discharge from her nose has stopped running and she's got a good appetite. So we're feeling very hopeful that she's gonna make a full recovery. Aren't you baby girl, it's very bright. Hey Simba. Oh, she's being shy. You wanna say hi? No, she's being camera shy. All right, bye guys. Oh, hang on, just say hello to Bentley. Hi Bentley. Hello, beautiful boy. Bye. So this is Derek, and Derek loves to chase me up and down the fence. Because he wants to get me. Oh. Are you stuck, Derek? Why do you want to get me, Derek? I'm a good person. These guys don't care. It's just you. Hi, Esme. Hey, beautiful. Oh, I can't see what I'm doing. I'm holding the camera. Zoomed in too close. Hi, beautiful. This is quite a delightful day. Look how cute she is. You couldn't be any cuter if you tried, you know, Ezzy. Did you know everybody loves you? And I mean like everybody loves you, yeah? For anybody who, I know, sorry, it's windy. For anybody who's wondering how Esme is doing, perhaps she'll show you in a sec, but she is a champion. The fact that she has contracted tendons means nothing to her because she can run, jump, hop, and a very, very happily headbutt sheep about five times the size of her because she has no fear <laughs> and nothing stops her. Anyway, today is the 1st of June. It's the first day of winter and it's my sister's birthday so happy birthday um and yeah this is i've got to tell you i gotta tell you the weather ain't so bad first day of winter and it's a beautiful sunshiny day do you want to say hello ollie hi ollie <laughs> i gotta make sure he doesn't come too close to the electrics yeah stay back buddy <laughs> hello farmer john 
yeah this is um this is one of those days that makes doing the chores so much easier <laughs> oh yeah anyway we should carry on hello magnificent duck duck hey ducky hey squishy where are you going dakota gonna go check on the babies who are crying because don't mind our ugh just gonna go and do a surprise little checkup on the babies who are hanging out in the manger today why would they want to be inside on a day like today tell me tell me indiana hello baby hi <laughs> oh, hey, where's arthur i hear him arthur hi bobby i'll come to show me where arthur is hi arthur well, this is the manger area, so originally we had built it so that this was all panelled up. They don't need to be in this smaller area. They've got all this space here, and the grass is actually growing back after the last year's lambies were in here. Hi, Arthur. And uh, we had the baby turkey sleeping in here for a while, so that, as this area is all blocked off, sleeping-wise. We're going to clean it all out. And what we want to do, so the shelter here, here, there's another one over there as well, but vast parmesan to put more panels across here so that this whole area will be sheltered because we need more shelter always don't we miss indy hop she's so beautiful she misses me so much she's my little shadow she doesn't like being left outside she wants to come with mum we can do some running around is it nice to have the free bottom arthur you know, when they're inside, they have to be nappies. Otherwise, they're going to poop and wheel over the carpet and the, and the couch. But outside, they get to be free. Free bottoms. Yay. Very good for airing out the area. You're very beautiful, aren't you, Arthur? Just thought I'd come over and say a quick hello pre-chaos. Getting the troughs ready for dinner. Hello. Hey, bubbies. Who have we got here? that Nisha. Hello Nisha. And Patrick. Do you want to say hello Patrick? You've grown so much. Have you seen how poor Patrick's ear is though? Looks like he's had one of those earring things. That's, you know, meeting other pigs. I think that one was from Scooter. Or it might have been that one time that um, the gate was opened. Anyway, not very pleasant. It's just saying hello to Charlotte and letting her know her dinner's on the way. She's very sweet. Hi, Charlotte. She's desperate for company. So, this weekend, today's Thursday. Oi, this weekend. Wait, can you stop that? Uh, we're going to let her out of quarantine. And we were umming and ahhing whether to let her out into the big the paddock with the 13 pigs or the paddock with the four. Numbers wise, I suppose it makes sense to go into the four, but. She's been meeting all the pigs through the gate here, so it makes sense that she meets, that she actually gets to go out with them. Doesn't that just make perfect sense? Who wants to come for a walk? Talking to the pigs, by the way. But we've got Dozer. Hi, Doze. Hello, buddy. Here's the blind pig, so you've got to let him know you're here and who you are. Hi, Dozy. Just trying to get some of this awful burrs out of them. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hang on a sec. Is that better? Oh, that one's stuck. And there we go. And oh, look, I tell you, I could spend a whole day just getting burrs out of animals. Ears. Hello. Hi, Dose. He, he's actually improved a little bit with his eyes. I don't know if you can see, but since he's lost weight, he's actually, his eyes are opening a little bit. There's, he has a tiny bit of sight, which is great. Very helpful. All right, anyway, where was I going? Say hello to Scooter. Today is the first of winter. First day of winter, but that does not stop Scooty from having... <laughs> Did you see that? I think you just farted. Did you just fart? There's some little bubbles came from your bum area, Scoot. It's, it's okay. It's cool. You, get to, you gotta let it go. I mean, let it be free. Oh my gosh, there's a squish. Got a walk of shame happening here, Keisha. Of all the animals on the whole farm that we have to worry about fencing, you're probably the worst one at the moment. That gate, the gate out to the front and the gate into the horse paddock, all shut off at the moment because 
Keisha will go straight underneath, take herself for a walk. I don't think she should be around the horses or the pigs. All right, time to eat everyone, bye. I was just walking away and I thought I'd better come back and capture this moment. This here is the darling, darling 19 year old pumpkin. I've just spent a little bit of time getting birds out of her ears, but she's very sweet and very old. And you know, it's, I just want to document this moment because she's letting me pat her and give her belly rubs and she never lets me do that ever. And back rubs <clears throat> and letting me grab her ears and pull birds out. She usually doesn't let me touch her at all. Like occasionally since she's come here a year and a half ago, but this is special. And she's very lucky today because she was down the other end of the paddock and she couldn't hear the dinner call. So I ran all the way down here with a secret bucket of food for her. And the reason I could do that, and this is gonna enthrall all of you, huh, is because I bought myself new boots. They're vegan boots, of course. And um, I've been wearing steel cap vegan boots for ages and they're too heavy. They make everything so much more of a chore. You know, every step you take is like having weighted, you know, those weighted things on your feet. So in my new boots, I ran down here to give Pumpkin her delicious food that she can eat completely uninterrupted. I piled it up. She's very skinny because she's very old, very old. 19 is a very, very old age for a piggy. Now we have these guys just patiently waiting, but I've got to go run and do Charlotte's feed first. I love you, Pumpkin. Whoop. Isn't she beautiful? I'm like, seriously, I'm just, one more second. Beautiful. Oh, my beautiful girl. Beautiful Pumpkin. I wonder if she ever actually enjoys the feeling of a belly rub. Because she's never had one, not in her whole life. She wouldn't let me. Bye. Ooh, and I made it back. She's very happy. Aren't she, Charlotte? And she doesn't understand it yet, but it's going to be... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a bit puffed because I literally ran back through the paddock, but it's going to be a really exciting time, Charlotte. Really scary, probably, initially. And you're going to be a bit upset, but mostly it's going to be wonderful. Bye. Look how pretty this is. Oh, it's so pretty. I think maybe because it's a really sunny day it makes everything just seem lovelier. But I just wanted to stop and admire the plant that I'm about to um, ravage and give to the guinea pigs. <sighs> oh, uh oh. Farmer John started the quad. I gotta go. Bye. Hi, Winston. Hi, Dave. They're just waiting because we're just rounding up the sheep into the area. Do, would you like some hay? Winston, would you like some hay? I've got something for you. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> they haven't even waited for me to, um, I just went back and shut the gate, but they haven't even waited for me to undo the bale for them yet. Would you like some? I'll just turn this off. Hey, handsome. Would you like me to get that into the hay holder for you? Hello, Phil. What do you think? Got a bit on your nose, buddy. I'm sure you'll clear that up. Hello, beautiful. What do you reckon, Barry? Not a peep. And these two have got a special little mix. A little loose. And dob dob. Very good. Enjoy. Enjoy, Frankie. Hello, Lady Violet. You coming back, Dob? No. You guys are so cute. Dave, you're gonna have to come on in. I'm, I'm getting in trouble again. I'm gonna run out of time. I gotta go. Okay, bye. Hi. Oh, I don't know where to kneel. Oh my goodness. Lucy, say hi. This girl, she's so funny. Hang on, if I can move oh, forward a little bit. Lucy. Hi, she is so funny. You're so funny, Lucy. I was coming over here to just hack this devil plant. Can you see it? The devil plant. But she didn't want me to leave. Just crying and crying, aren't you? Because she just wants more scratches. She had horrible bears in her, went to pick them out. 
It's only her and Dobby, really. Yeah, she didn't like that very much. So these things, I've got the hack ho thing. They've got to go. Yep. Jack, Jack. Jack, Jack. Jack, Jack. Come on. This way. Come on, Jack, Jack. <laughs> Jack, Jack. Jack, 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 and Duck, Duck. Come on, Jack. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> he does very cute little hoppities. This is such a lovely moment in time, as in beautiful weather, you know, t-shirt weather. Hey, Meg, Mac, Meg or Mac. There's two that look the same. One's Meg, one's Mac. And um, yeah, it's it's just, you know, all the leaves are falling from the ash trees here. It all looks very, you know, I, I suppose as pretty as it could look in here without grass, but lovely lighting. We have Donnie, the little rooster. Turns out, so we took in 14 hens and I reckon about half of them turned out to be roosters, if not more. So um, we had rehomed four hens to a friend and three of them are roosters. So they're all coming back. So <laughs> we're going to do a trade. Um, yeah, but I have to figure out which one. I know which ones are girls, but we're going to make sure. Make sure they're girls, you know? Make sure this time. But yeah, it's beautiful. The sun coming in here. Everyone's having their afternoon feed. Everyone got some grass. Who have we got here? Missy Higgins? Is that you? It's either Missy or Flume. I still get those two mixed up. One's a rooster, one's a girl, but they look the same. Hi, Oleg. You don't. You look very handsome. You're very different. Hello, Kita. What else have we got? Lots, lots of animals here. Look at how small little Sally is. She's tiny, tiny little hen. With her boyfriend over there, Harry. And there's Turk. And that, that orange fluffy bum is um, Fraggle. And yes, I'm just naming everybody. Sorry. Hey, Vronsky. That's one of our guinea fowl. And Kitty. Hi. Oh, no, that's Dolly. Hi, Dolly. Anyway, I just thought I'd share the moment because it's just, it's lovely in here. And that's some great sound effects in the background. That's, um, yeah. Anyway, bye.